Hey guys, Chris Larson, I'll see your real estate group. Why does newer construction command a premium over older construction? So I've got a lot of buyers that come in from out of the area and they can't quite figure out how things work in LO. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of older homes, but there's a lot of newer homes that are mixed in the middle. Like they tear down an old house and put up a new house. Now that house is a few years old, but it will get a higher per foot a higher premium than say an older home will simply because it's newer has a more modernized floor plan and quite frankly most of the buyers coming into town they want something that's a little more turnkey and a little bit more done so this neighborhood i'm walking around in today in hallinan over here off McVay has a little bit of a blend of both old and new and you can go back through the comps and the sales history and you can notice that Basically, that newer stuff's getting a better premium than the older stuff. And the other thing that you'll have to notice when you come and potentially look in LO is that the vast majority of our inventory was built 60s, 70s, 80s, maybe into the 90s. And very little of it was built recently. Um, I mean, it's more and more, but you still have to tear down something old to put something new in its place because we're simply out of land. There's just no more land. Everything here's been built, you know, with the thought that we're gonna replace the old with the new. Here's a prime example, beautiful home that Renaissance built here a few years back. But people are shocked when they come in and they say, where's all the new construction? Well, this isn't like California. There's not these big, huge track developments that are put up. There is some stuff that was put up in the 80s in and around Lake Oswego that's kind of like that, but not really. So we're really kind of a mixed bag, if you will, between old and new. And the older stuff's gonna be a little bit more reasonable with the newer stuff, but you'll also walk in and you'll see stuff that's partially updated. Kitchen's done, but none of the bathrooms are done. Floor's done, but no paint and everything's original. Bathrooms are done, kitchen's not done. So it becomes a little frustrating if you're a buyer from out of town looking for that, you know, that newer feel. It's just, it's just not here, unfortunately. And as much as we try to, you know, sell newer product, we end up a lot of the time selling older products. So anyways, it's food for thought when you're coming to look here. Just prepare yourself. I have a buyer coming in this weekend and she is literally, she wants older, which is great. She feels that it's built better than newer. They have a new home back in the Midwest and they've had a lot of problems with it. Probably not a great builder track home. But um, so you'll, you'll see that every once in a while, but just prepare yourself. And then pricing, obviously, we have we've yet to adjust to reflect where interest rates are. And that's a testament to how good the community is and our schools and the, the, the safety aspect. Um, and just the, the aspect of community is just so strong in LO. So if you're coming from out of town and you're thinking about making a reload to Oregon and Lake Oswego goes on the radar, please feel free to give me a call. I love working with out-of-town buyers. Um, I do a lot of Zooms. I do a lot of pre-trip analyst analyzation for you. So you come out here and all you do is you see what you want. We go through the list. We try to eliminate stuff before you come out. So it's a good effective use of your time. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. Um, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and we're gonna keep giving good solid tidbits of information about relocating to Lake Oswego, Oregon. And if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Feel free to reach out to me. I'm always available by phone or by email or by text. I'd love to help you out. Have a great day.